I'm here today to talk about a private member's bill that I'll be introducing in the House later today. If passed, the bill would task the Higher Education Quality Council of Ontario with creating a comprehensive online resource that would help students make more informed decisions as they decide on which university or college to attend and which program of study to pursue. The resource would do this by providing the information that students need to make those decisions in an easily accessible, consistent and simple manner. You know, as a faculty member at York, as a business person and now as an MPP, I've spoken with a lot of young people. And some of the young people have told me how they've struggled to find a job in their chosen field. And many of them have said that if they had known when they were applying to that institution what they know now, what they know today, that they might have made a different choice of post-secondary program. The reason behind my private member's bill is quite simple. The choice a student makes about their program of study and, and the institution at which they will study is one of the most pivotal and important decisions a student makes in their life and that is why it is critical that students and their families have access to the information they need to make informed decisions. The private member's bill that I am introducing is meant to help students and families make those informed decisions. I guess just further speaking on that topic of student experience, which is a key component of this bill and I think um, has really been a key component of a student's education, whether you're talking about student supports to extracurriculars to the type of learning that happens outside of classrooms, um, student experience has always been a central component of a student's education. I think this bill will deliver the information so that students can make wise choices about their education and in invest accordingly. and and then also contribute once they finish school in a productive way to Ontario. Uh, the Federation has long believed uh, that it is crucial for colleges and universities to collect wide ranges of data uh, and present such data to the public in a format that is both easily navigable uh, and professionally thorough. Uh, from tuition fees to ancillary fees uh, to education quality uh, to career expectations, it is important that all students have an opportunity to explore their academic pathways and to come to their own conclusions about where they would like to pursue their post-secondary education and their passions. This bill would put the power in the hands of students and families by presenting a wide variety of data in one easy format that uh, will help them understand admission expectations, costs, academic experiences, postgraduate pathways, uh, and students applaud this effort. We have world-class post-secondary uh, institutions here in Ontario. The choice a student makes about their program of study and the institution at which they will study is, in my view, one of the most pivotal and important decisions a person makes in their life. It is one of the largest financial investments that we make, and the choice of post secondary study really shapes our path that we follow in our career and, frankly, in the rest of our lives. And that is why it is so important that students and families are able to make informed decisions about their post secondary pathways. Uh, this private member's bill would have passed, helped students and families make a more informed decisions, leading to more satisfied students and stronger outcomes. I want to thank you all for joining me here today. Member from Etobicoke Centre. After being elected speaker, I met with student groups, businesses, colleges, universities, and others, and some spoke about the struggles of choosing a post-secondary path. It is not an easy decision to make, and many students and their families sometimes struggle to find the information they need to make an informed decision. Today, I'll be introducing a private member's bill that tasks the Higher Education Quality Council of Ontario with the creation of an online resource that would help students make more informed decisions as they decide on which university or college to attend and which program of study to pursue. The resource would do this by providing a more comprehensive picture for students about access, student experience, and graduate outcomes for each program offered at each of Ontario's post-secondary institutions. I'd like to thank the Canadian Federation of Students, the College Student Alliance, the Ontario Undergraduate Student Alliance, and the Ontario Graduate Student Alliance for their advice in the drafting of this bill and their subsequent endorsement. This bill would have passed helped students and families make more informed decisions leading to more satisfied students and stronger outcomes, and I humbly request my fellow members here in the Legislature for their support as it works its way through the House. Thank you, Speaker.